Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Mac and I make travel videos all around the world. And today we're in Reykjavik, Iceland, and we're gonna give you 10 things to do while you're here. So let's go on and check them out. Our first stop here in Reykjavik is Icelandic street food. We landed a few hours ago in the very early hours of the morning and are ready for some good, authentic Icelandic food. So this place is highly recommended on TripAdvisor as a cost-effective, really good meal here in Reykjavik, which is known for being pretty pricey. So we're really excited to check it out. Then we have the lamb soup. It's a traditional lamb soup with vegetables. And we have a vegetarian soup that is basically a tomato vegetable soup. I'm already okay. loving this place they give you free desserts here so brownies or what are those other ones called uh, cocoa and chocolate. brownies or cocoa and choco sweets <laughs> Guys, we just got down here to the Grotta Lighthouse and it is stunningly beautiful. It's a free place to come down and visit. You can come here 24 hours per day. Right now we're here during the day and it's beautiful, peaceful, barely anyone here. And at night, it's a really well-known spot for viewing the Northern Lights. So just take a look for yourself at how beautiful this is. So we're starting out today with a little bit more gloomy of weather. Unfortunately, I think yesterday we just got really lucky with a really sunny day here in Reykjavik. But besides that, we're really excited because we're going to check out the Perlin right now. So we'll see you guys inside and Chelsea's gonna tell you all about this place. So now we are in the Perlan, which is actually built on top of four, a cluster of old hot water tanks that they turned into now something that has an exhibition called Wonders of Iceland, of Iceland's uh, geography essentially. And then they have a planetarium, which houses a dome, kind of like an IMAX theater, where you can watch the Northern Lights above you. And then they also have an option which is what we chose to do, which is just the observation deck, which is where we are now. It's got 360 views of the entire city of Reykjavik out into the water. It's really beautiful up here. And one cool thing about it is that they have these pictures of what you're looking at in the distance. So they're different all around the 360 view. So you can see what you're looking at. For example here, we have one of the most famous churches here in Reykjavik, the Hallgrimskirke. So guys, about 20 minutes at the observation deck was enough time for us to explore that part of the Perlan. Now we're off to the next destination. We'll see you guys there. So we are now on the main street of downtown Reykjavik, which is such a fun, really cool vibe there are restaurants bars cafes shops pretty much everything you could ever need or want is around here and it's super walkable right now we're on a street where you can't even bring a car it's so easy to navigate if you're in iceland definitely spend some time in reykjavik i think people kind of shy away from the big cities because iceland is also known for its incredible landscapes so definitely make time for those as well but spend a couple days in reykjavik it's a really cool city to explore So 
So now we are here at Hallgren's uh, pronunciation TBD, but it is one of the best known landmarks in Reykjavik. Um, it's one of the highest, tallest buildings in all of Iceland. It's a church known for its unique architecture and it has an elevator lift you can take to the top for uh, an amazing view of all of Reykjavik. It's definitely something that you see literally from everywhere in the city. It sticks out and it's a really beautiful, cool, unique spot. So we are going to head in there now and see if we can get to the top. All right, good news is we got our tickets and we're heading up. 1,000 ISK per person, so about $9 or so. Let's see what it's like up there. We just made it to the top and there are basically 360 degree views all around Reykjavik. Super beautiful and we got lucky that we went up here today because it's nice and sunny, almost clear skies, which most of the trip here we have not been that lucky. So take a look outside here. The bells are going off and we're heading up. The very top is outside. All right guys, and so the next thing we're gonna do here after the church is, of course, you can't go to Iceland without getting an Icelandic hot dog. So we'll see you guys over there. Is the fried onion like in the sauce? It's on the bottom. Oh, wow. It's true, I guess, but we'll find out. We're at a famous hot dog stand that one of my friends recommended. We got a nice hot dog with some mayo, some onion, some ketchup on there, some mustard, and it is delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, how's the hot dog? It's so good. And I made sure to order it the way that Icelandic people eat it because I feel like you have to experience our culture, right? Totes, totes. Even if, even if ingredients feel like, oh, I don't like that, you have to do it. It's really good. Thoughts? First thoughts? <laughs> well, I'm already almost done. So, it's really good. Now we are in front of Rainbow Road, which is a part of Reykjavik that actually changes every year. So when you're here, you will have to see if you can find it. It's a symbol of equality in Reykjavik City based off of Gay Pride Week. They paint a road or an area in Reykjavik uh, in preparation for the Gay Pride Parade that they hold every year. So it's a really fun street just to walk on. It adds obviously a lot of fun color to the city. And we're excited to also show you how it can be a great spot for some Instagram photos. So guys, we just arrived to the next best spot in Reykjavik. And in my opinion, it's probably my favorite because, and I haven't been in there yet, but it's my favorite because I love being in the water. So this is like that slight touch of the beach life. But we're at the Lagardelle Slog. Probably said completely incorrect, but there's indoor, outdoor pools, and it's the most popular one here in Reykjavik. On top of the pools, the Olympic-sized pool, and all the different hot tubs and things, you can see the steam coming over the top. It also has a mini golf course, and in the summer, when it's a little warmer, it has volleyball nets, so it's not just pools. There are other, it's like an activity center. There are other things you can do here too. So we'll bring you guys in and you can see what it's like in there. Let's go on in there. So sadly, the shot you're looking at is the only shot that we have of the pools because no phones or cameras or anything are allowed out there. But yeah, overall we had a really good time. Basically there's a bunch of like different hot tubs all around the premises and there's like a large lap pool. So guys, we'll see you in the next destination. So we just walked pretty much across the entire city chasing the sunset and as you can see found a pretty amazing spot to watch the sunset here in Reykjavik. We want to share this spot with you guys so check it out here on the map.
So guys, our next spot here is nightlife in Iceland. I read a blog post actually a few weeks back, right before I was going to Iceland, and it said, Iceland's not the place you want to go to if you want to go out and have great nightlife. And I will tell you, we stumbled upon this place called B5, and that is completely wrong. This place around like 12 or 1 a.m., at least on Friday nights, uh, just completely fills up with Icelandic people, and they party until the sun comes up. I actually don't know when they party until, but we left at 3 a.m., uh, but it was so much fun here. You get all your like Icelandic club music and then top 40, so come check this place out. We'll see you guys in the next destination. So guys, we're down here now for our last stop of this video, which is downtown Reykjavik in the harbor. And here's a really popular spot because there's so much you can do. There are different um, tourist excursions you can take from whale washing to seeing the Northern Lights, and then a bunch of different nature excursions you can do. And then more on just on the harbor side, you're able to go ahead and do cafes, bars, restaurants, a whole bunch of different things that, uh, you know, just kind of give you that really nice feel right here on the water in downtown Reykjavik. So guys, that pretty much wraps up this video for the top 10 things to do down here when you're staying in Reykjavik. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.